Okay, Nadia, uh, cura et valias, uh, Latin, I know that much, but give us some more context. So this is an epistolary send-off, so signature. Take care that you be well, or just take care, as we might say in English. And we see it a lot in the letters of Cicero, um, a politician in the late Roman Republic, and he wrote a lot. He wrote a ton of letters to friends, loved ones, uh, family members, um, and also some uh, political enemies. Those are really tense letters. But anyway, um, he would sign his letters usually, Cura Otvalias, take care that you be well. Nice. So it, it, it puts in my mind something that's carried forward into, say, contemporary Italian where you know, when you're cheersing with a glass of Prosecco, you say salute, um, or even our word, salutation, or to salute the flag, or something that's salutary. That, that word is carried forward into modern times as something having to do with health, right? Yeah, which is fascinating because uh, we don't mean it in a literally, uh, in a literal sense today. Right, right, right. So when you're saying uh, salutations uh, or take care at the end of an email or something like that, you're not, you're not thinking like, huh, this person might die before I see him again. <laughs> but in Roman times, they thought that because this is the pre-modern world. And even um, if you think uh, how old penicillin is, so antibiotics are still less than 100 years old. Um, dying of a freak accident or a horrific random infection in your 20s used to be the reality of life. And I think these readings reflect that anxiety, pre-modern uh, pre modern healthcare being what it is. And, so, and it's funny how it just absorbed into our language even today. Yeah, and so it's fossilized. You're right. When we say, when we say something like, you know, salute the flag, we have no idea usually that there's this old concept of health embedded in that term, right? But it also seems to me given our current situation in this pandemic, uh, that something like this has a new kind of maybe resonance, even something as sort of, um, you know, perfunctory as an email sign off. All of a sudden it has more life to it, more meaning, right? Absolutely, uh, because suddenly it does, uh, if you're thinking about what you're writing at the end of your email, suddenly it does seem like, take care that you be well. I really do mean it when I sign my email to somebody saying, take care. I really do mean, take care. Please don't like catch the plague. Um, and on a more serious note though, it forces us to, con uh, to confront the state of healthcare. So what does it mean uh, for me to say, take care? Uh, maybe Cicero, living in a very stratified society where uh, people like him matter to him, uh, and maybe nobody else did. Uh, but today, that's not how we think. We think in terms of, like, we, we want to say this to everybody, and we really do say this to everybody. Yeah. Um, take care. We really want you to stay well. And that places responsibility on us for healthcare, uh, community prevention, the whole idea with shelter in place, like stay home, save lives. That's exactly what it was. Right, and so it's like this embedded in that term now is this civic responsibility, right? That you take care mm -hmm. of yourself, but also of others, mm -hmm. exactly, yeah. Yeah, because citizens don't exist in a vacuum. You're a citizen of something. Like, what are you a citizen of? Fantastic, thank you so much, Nadia.